Greetings all! I was supposed to make a video after I made the milestone video, but you know me. As you know, I had a straw poll on my last tutorial talking about what video I should make next. Screw it! I'm so bad at making ideas for tutorials, I'm just gonna read the comments on what you guys want, which is why I'm making this video. A lot of people, even outside of YouTube, have asked me to do a tutorial on how to fast vault. Before I start, I want to say that this vaulting change is possibly the best change for survivors there has ever been. I know that's a really unpopular opinion, but let me quickly explain why. The new change forces you to time and angle on clustered vaults, giving a large skill cap on it. Due to fast vaults being half a second and medium vaults becoming 1.9 seconds in the near future, mastering fast vaults is going to be very important for extending chases. First off, don't spam vault. Spamming is fine on vaults that are going to guarantee you a fast vault, but if you don't have enough momentum for, or the angle, you're not going to want to spam vault, or else you're just going to get a medium vault. Depending on how close you are to the wall before running, you're going to want at least 2.5 meters in order to vault the window, which is basically half a second. All clips here are taken in to kill your friends to give example. You would be surprised how close to the vault you can be in order to get a fast vault. Without going into the itty bitty details, don't spam vault if you don't have enough momentum. If you delay it a little bit right before you touch the window, you'll be able to get a fast vault. From my knowledge, there isn't a single window in this game that you can't get a fast vault on. Don't get me wrong, some windows are just too risky to even attempt to fast vault, but having the option can seriously throw your opponent off, which is the next thing you need to learn in order to become a better survivor. For example, the cow tree. If you've ever been against a good killer, you'll notice how they always force you to go counterclockwise in order for you to not get a fast vault. If they were to run you clockwise, you'd be able to loop them until the window is blocked by the entity. That's where learning and mastering the fast vault on the difficult side can give you a serious advantage over your opponent. So far, I've been able to fast vault that window on the difficult side nine times in a row, but I keep on practicing it. To summarize, fast vaulting requires a little bit of space and you can use the distance right before you touch the actual window to your advantage. <laughs> 